Perfect. So go ahead and get and getting started. I wanted to jump in and show you guys some before and afters of Super Smooth and some expectations that you guys can um, expect to see with your, your clients behind the chair. So this is a completely different smoothing system than you guys have ever experienced or had um, or have been working with. So it's amino acid based um, smoothing system. Okay. And again, these are just some before and after. So you can completely see how the hair is transformed, how the hair just looks and feels different. And it really looks and feels different from that inside out. Very similar to how infinity feels in the hair, how it works in the hair from the inside out. This is going to feel um, pretty similar to how that feels as well. Okay. Um, here we go. So what's the concept behind Super Smooth? Pretty self-explanatory. It's for smoother, um, straighter, stronger hair, okay? So it's gonna give you incredible frizz-free, healthier looking hair that's going to last up to three months. So this has a 12 week time frame, is what we are, are saying with Super Smooth. It's a three-step process, a shampoo, the smoothing treatment, and then your oil, which is going to smooth it all in. And then we finish it off with your at-home take-home, which is your shampoo and your conditioner, okay? Super smooth, it's longer lasting results. You have better color retention when you're using a product like Super Smooth on your clients that are already getting color in the salon. We have low odor and low vapor, and pretty much I will pretty much guaranteed to say that the vapor and the fumes are next to zero, okay? This really has a really nice um, soft smell to it with the, the lotion, the smoothing lotion. And then your vapors, when you have, when you're straightening, if you guys are used to using any sort of smoothing system, you know, your clients tend to their eyes water, they close their eyes, especially when you get around that front of the face, they can really feel those fumes. I know working with other smoothing treatments, I it gets stuck in my throat and I feel it for days. My eyes water, I just don't do well with them. This one, my client, when I got to the front of her face, I was doing it on her and I'm like, you don't feel anything, right? And she's like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot you were even doing a smoothing treatment. Like it just had no fumes to it, no smells, no kickback, no nothing. So it completely is a game changer in that sense. Um, it also speeds up your client's blow dry time by up to 50%. Again, that client that I, that I use this on, she is a client that doesn't get her hair. Um, she doesn't blow dry her hair at home. She either gets it blow dried by me. She goes to the blow dry bar and gets it blown out weekly. She does not blow dry it this she'll actually blow dry her hair at home um, and it takes like five minutes it's so incredible she doesn't have to use a brush to to smooth it out she can really just blow dry it and then use our thermal tools to curl it or whatever she need, wants to do um absolutely incredible and then the last part that is a huge 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 selling point that makes us so different is there's no discoloration on our blondes how many times we do a beautiful blonde, they get a smoothing treatment, and then their blondes are yellowed or they're orange out, and now we need to tone them again. That is not the case with this, and that is because we are amino acid based, and we'll touch on that a little bit more um, in just a few minutes. Okay, the science behind this is that it's um, it's a purifying formula, okay? It's an anti-frizz formula, it's a super shine formula, and then you have your shampoo and conditioner to maintain that, okay? So this is going to go in and give you that smoother, straighter hair um, in just one service for those 12 weeks. And again, it's protecting the hair from the inside out. So you've heard us say it before at ASP, protecting the hair from the inside out. We're truly about beautiful, shiny, healthy hair. And this is just an extension of that. Okay. A little deeper dive into some of the ingredients with this is that it's an amino acid based system. Okay. This is really the game changer for our super smooth versus other smoothing treatments that are on the market. Other smoothing treatments are on the market are all keratin based. Okay. The keratin base is usually derived from um, some sort of animal protein. Okay which is fine, but that is kind of yellowing 
the the blondes and changing our brunettes and any of our lighter pieces um, that funky yellowed color so that's where that comes from ours has a cystamine amino acid base to it what that means is cysteine is naturally occurring in our hair we have about 10 to 14 percent of that naturally occurring within our hair so this is just building upon that this is replicating that and building upon that so it's already what's in our hair just replicated which is super unique and super different we are, have been a brand that have been around that has been around for over 20 years and we have never come out with a product like this because we really wanted to fill that niche of something that's different and we wanted to fill that niche of something that doesn't exist on the market and this is where the the amino acid base to it is completely completely different this is what um, makes it gentler and this is what's going to transform the hair and make the hair feel like hair again okay um again so it has that cysteine amino acid in it and because of that it's also vegan friendly I know a lot of salons um, or a lot of the market right now are kind of reaching a little bit more for the vegan friendly or the environmentally friendly, the earth conscious, which is great, love that. And they were kind of getting rid of their keratin treatments because we didn't support that lifestyle for them. So now this is completely supporting that lifestyle. If you are um, a salon that is vegan friendly, completely safe. We also have glycolic um, acid in it, which is going to rearrange the disulfide bonds, hold the keratin bonds together into a new position, okay? So it's gonna restructure the hair for that 12 weeks. Um, again, because it's, um, because the product is being used correctly and in the correct sequence, there's no way that it can cause damage or breakage whatsoever within the hair, okay? We also have argon oil. I know that shines familiar because it is in our infinity color. So we have the argon oil. It's going to add suppleness. It's going to add shine. Um, it's going to eliminate any of the free radicals from entering the hair. So it's just going to give the hair really nice protection. And then we also have bamboo extract. Bamboo extract. Bamboo, for one, is one of the strongest materials in the world. And so what this does by adding it into our super smooth formula is it's going to strengthen the elasticity of the hair. Um, it's gonna increase the elasticity of the hair. It's gonna add so much moisture to the hair and it's really gonna be rich in those antioxidants. So completely healing that hair from the inside out and giving it that nourishment and protection. Okay. Um, again, we're talking about cysteines, replenishes the hair, it's naturally occurring in the hair. So it makes it a very gentler solution than adding a keratin. A lot of times when you have, um, I'm sure some of you do keratins right now, a lot of times when you're using a keratin type product, it has a different feel to the hair, a different coarseness to the hair. And because this is the cysteine based, it has truly hair feel to it. Um, it looks less artificial. It looks more true. It shines different, like that reflection and that shine just shines back at you in a completely different way, which is um, really incredible. Okay. Again, talking about the glycolic acid, um, rearranging the bonds. It's um, a reversible smoothing treatment. So again, all that means is that it um, diminishes out of the hair after a certain amount of time, which is this is a 12 week um, service. Okay, again, the argon oil and the bamboo extract. Okay, how do we use it? So it is a three part system like we talked about earlier. So we're gonna use the detoxifying shampoo and detoxify the hair, give the hair a nice cleanse. We're gonna do that one to two times depending on how much buildup they have. We know clients usually come in with the hair that hasn't been washed in a week, especially if they know they're coming in for a smoothing treatment. And typically these types of clients have that coarseness, that really thick hair. So we want to be, be sure that we're moving all those minerals and impurities. So we're going to be doing one to two of our detox shampoo, and then we're going to apply our treatment onto the hair. And we want to make sure that we're applying the treatment um, about one to two centimeters away from the scalp. So it's not going to be touching your scalp. Um, it's just going to be just a tiny bit away, comb it through. I will say this solution is really nice and workable and creamy. So a little bit goes a long way. 
what we're recommending is 20 grams on short hair, 40 grams on medium hair, and 80 to 100 grams on longer hair. I will say my client that I used it on has so much hair. I use nowhere near 80 grams of this. Um, it really does go very, very far, especially you're applying it onto damp towel dried hair. It's very workable. It, it has a really nice, easy consistency to it. So we're just going to pull this from roots to ends. We're going to work as, focus on not oversaturating, which is very common with a lot of other keratin products, um, but we're focus on not oversaturating and combing it through the hair as well. Okay. Then we're going to let that process for 40 minutes. During that time, we don't want to cover it. We don't want to apply heat. We just want to let them sit at a nice room temperature and let them process. Okay. Great thing about this is that there's one processing so time, okay? One processing solution for all of your clients and one processing time. So it's gonna be 40 minutes, no matter if they have fine hair, straight hair, or sorry, fine hair, curly hair, um, coarseness, just 40 minutes. After that 40 minutes is up, you wanna rinse the hair out about 80% of the way. So you still wanna leave some of that product left in the hair. What we recommend is if your client has so much hair, if your client has long hair and it's um, sitting in the bowl or you have to let your water run to heat up initially, that you don't let the, the nozzle run onto the ends of the hair. Okay, so if you're letting your water warm up, let that water warm up maybe while your client's sitting forward so it's not rinsing out the, on the ends. Okay, so just roots to ends, about 80% of it rinsed out. And then bring your client back to the chair. And then that's when you'll go in and blow dry them. When you're blow drying them, you don't have to worry about getting it silky smooth. You just have to worry about getting them dry. You don't have to mold it into place. You just want them dry at that point. Okay, so just working the hair with a paddle brush is perfect. From then, we're going to take the hair into small um, sections and we're going to flat iron. Depending on if they have severe damage, moderate damage, or no damage whatsoever, um, our iron temperature is just going to vary with that and how many times that you pass through is going to vary with that as well. Okay, But anywhere from three to seven passes is perfectly great on your clients. From that point, we're going to take the part three, which is the seal it in, and that's an oil. So let me pull it out right here for you guys. So that's just an oil. So you'll put it in your hands and kind of just massage it through your client's hair. That's going to lock in that moisture. That's going to seal it down. If there's any flyaways, it's going to calm everything down um, and give them that. It's going to kind of round out their service for them. Okay. Um, Important to note, they're not going to wash their hair for 48 hours after doing a super smooth treatment, okay? And you also want to make sure that they're not pulling their hair into a ponytail or not creasing their hair, not, um, I, I would also encourage them not to work out for those two days. If they do work out, if they do get it wet, if they do rinse before that 48 hours, no harm, no foul, they're just not going to have the full expectancy of those 12 weeks for that treatment. So to get that full treatment time frame in, you want to let the hair just chill, just hang out for those first 48 hours. Um, I tell my clients if they do happen to get it wet, I know we are still in winter time, we're dealing with weather. If you do happen to get it wet or you do, hopefully they still shower within those 48 hours. If it does get wet, just hit it with a blow dryer, hit it with a flat iron if they need to. Um, if they need to pull it back, I, I tend to say a super light braid with a scrunchie on the end would be fine for a minimal amount of time. Clips would be fine for a minimal amount of time. We're just not really tightly winding that hair up, okay? When they are going to go in and go shampoo, we have the part four and five. All this is gonna do is it's gonna be a shampoo and conditioner that's formulated to go and finish off the super smooth system. So this is gonna guarantee that they have that, um, that nourishment, the hydration, it's gonna leave their hair um, extending 
that service and getting the full um, efficacy of this service and this treatment as possible. Okay, has a color lock technology in it as well. So it's gonna protect their color. Um, it's definitely gonna be color safe and it's gonna have um, a, a complex version of that amino acid repair in it as well. Again, which is just gonna extend out their service. Okay. Do you guys have any questions up until this point? I don't think that I've seen anything come through in the chat, but any questions? You guys can unmute yourself. I, can you hear me? Yep, I can, Holly. Okay, um, I'm just curious, can we do this on the same day as a color service? Yes, you can. Yep, yep, we'll talk about that in just a minute. But yeah, I've had no problems whatsoever with doing this the same day as a color service. If you're going to do the super smooth first, if that's what they're coming in for, then I would wait three days after to do color but you can do it the opposite way. You can do your color and then you can do your smooth, super smooth right after. Is yep. there a Sorry, is there a possibility that you could leave too much of the product on it if you don't get, like, if you're not, if you don't get 80% of it off or? I feel like you'll feel it. Okay, you, so you'll get used to how much. Yeah, I feel like you'll feel it. I mean, 80%, there's still 20% left. You'll still feel kind of some of that on the hair. Um, I, I would, be, I would, prefer you to leave more on than take more off. Okay. I know Will it make it feel like greasy? greasy? No, it doesn't feel greasy. It just okay. kind of feels like there's a little bit of a buildup, but it doesn't feel greasy. Okay. It's not like a heaviness feeling. Or it, it's not a heaviness feeling of grease. It's just a little bit of like a, oh, there's product on my hair. Okay. But then when you put the oil on, it smooths that out and that kind of like dissipates or kind of like neutralizes it, I feel okay. like. So it, it doesn't feel heavy or, or weighted. I mean, they are super sleek, so they're gonna feel a little heavier. Um, and for some people that don't love that, I, I kind of will like bevel in some of their ends, but nothing that's like creasing or nothing that's, um, you know, gonna set in per se that they wouldn't normally do, okay. if that makes sense. Is flat iron is the part of it, or do we have to do it, or we don't have to use a flat iron? Can to we get the full effect of this product, we're going to ask you to do the flat ironing. Um, I have some clients that still want volume. So for those clients, I kind of customize it a little bit and I kind of go in through this front section if that's where they're wanting volume. And I might flat iron from like here down rather than in the back, I'm, I'll take it, you know, right up to the root area. So I definitely, or I'll do less passes, like maybe on that root area, I'm only doing like one or two passes. And then those mids to ends, I'm doing the full, you know, five to seven. So it just depends, but yeah, you're going to want to flat iron to get the full effect of this product. It really makes a difference in locking it in and sealing it in. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Perfect. Good questions. Anyone else? At what temperature do you flat iron? So it's written right over here. So our flat irons for severely damaged hair is going to be at 374 to 392. For moderate damage, it's going to be at 410. And then someone that has zero damage, virgin hair, it's going to be at 437. Um, so a lot of our flat irons have the temperature gauges on them, which is really, really awesome. And so you'll just gauge it off that. It, it's all written in your little trial kit too. So don't worry about not getting the 437. <laughs> okay, a little bit again about our detox shampoo. This is a purifying formula. pH is gonna be 6.5 to 7.5. It's gonna completely remove any barrier that's going to block your super smooth from getting fully into the hair, okay? Um, a lot of detox shampoos don't feel so great. This feels actually really nice on the hair. It's very gentle, even though it's a purifying, clarifying shampoo. Um, just like everything within the ASP line, it feels really nice. It's nice to get a comb through after, especially since you're not applying like a conditioner after. Um, a lot of our clients, their hair cannot feel so great. And so this is a very gentle um, detox shampoo for removing all those impurities. Um, Coral, I'll get to your question in just a minute. Okay. Um, you notice too that these come in two different sizes. So the little 
versions on the left are going to be our, our trial size. And then the um, little bo the bottles on the right are going to be our pro kit sizes. And again, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay, these are the bottles for the super smooth. This is your smoothing lotion. Okay, so this is what's gonna go on the hair and sit for that full 40 minutes. Okay. And then this is the super smooth seal it in oil. Okay, so it gives it that shine without weight, without residue. It's just gonna close down that cuticle um, and give you even longer lasting results. And then again, our pro shampoo for aftercare, which is going to be four and five. So it's going to really protect um, with that amino acid repair complex in it, protect and keep that smoothing system feeling great all the way through, okay? So this is our little try me kit. So this is the trial kit, which is gonna come with the shampoo, the treatment, and then your oil. So within this kit, we it's about um, 100 mils for the, um, the smoothing lotion. We said earlier, if depending on how, an average client uses about 40 grams, I will say that's probably a little much. I feel like I've used a little bit less than that. Um, so you can get anywhere from two, three, four applications out of this trial kit, which is really nice. It gives you a really good basis for trying it, seeing if you like it, seeing the difference in it and seeing how, um, it really makes, um, a difference in your client's lifestyle at home. <laughs> and this is the full intro kit. The full intro kit, you're going to get two of the detox shampoos, two treatments, one oil, and then you also get your aftercare shampoos and conditioners, which you're able to retail. Within this kit, you get about 30 applications. Again, it just depends how much you're using, how many um, your client's uh, coarseness, the texture, the density of their hair. I don't hesitate to say that you would get even more than 30 applications out of this. So really nice, really beautiful. You also get um, some display cards, which are really nice to put up in the salon and creates that conversation for your clients to start asking and talking about it. Okay. Pricing is all going to be very different too. I know that's probably a question that's coming up. Pricing is going to be different depending on where you guys are at and where you guys are coming from, not only for your service, but also for your products as well. So it's best to ask your distributor about um, your pricing for that. And then if you need help working out like uh, price per application, anything like that, any of us ASP educators are happy to help you um, pricing that out too, just so you guys know that. But how do we use this behind the chair and how do we use this to increase our revenue? So on average, a smoothing treatment is anywhere from 200, 250 upwards to 450, okay? So this is definitely a costly service and it's definitely going to be a service that um, can take you up to that next level. Whether you become a smoothing um, expert in your area, they're going to notice the difference in using this over using any other keratins that are on the market. Um, one, so basing this off of one smoothing treatment, 250 to 450 a year. Um, if you just take one new client per week, um, that's going to be huge. And it's only two hours. Okay. At that, I usually take about 90 minutes, maybe an hour 45 for this service. So that's a really great revenue in getting, you know, 250 to 450 an hour. That makes the world of a difference. Okay. Um, on five super smooths per week, you can make upwards of 1250 to 2250 um, per week. That is huge. And that is just 10 hours out of your, um, that is just 10 hours out of your week. Okay. 10 times of the smoothing treatments is going to be 2,500 to 4,500. Okay. Times that by 52 weeks a year. That is huge. That's the ability to maybe take a week, an extra week off per year or spend it, spending that time with your family or being able to take off spring break right? And spend it with your family. Um, a vacation that makes the world of a difference within your guys's lifestyle. And we're working smarter, not harder, right? Again, it's just two hours of, of your service time. It's 
a really great product to to add to your um, repertoire of products to to get to that next level. Okay, I know it's tax season. We're all crunching those numbers, and it would be nice to have a little extra cash flow. Um, I don't think any of us would hesitate to say that, right? <laughs> So I just wanna do a little bit of a compare and contrast with some other smoothing treatments. I know some of you are familiar with doing smoothing treatments. Some of you are, have no idea about other smoothing treatments that are on the market. Um, this was just about four competitors that I had researched and or used and um, some experiences and, and differences that I've noticed with them. A lot of them have three, four, five, six, seven different solutions. And because of that, you guys have to stock all of them, which makes it really cost, um, not cost effective, okay? It makes it very expensive to keep them all on hand because you may have someone that has really fine hair, but really frizzy hair. And you may have someone that has heavy, dense, coarse hair that really needs um, a lot of, of heaviness to it. So very different when you're using something like Super Smooth where it's one simple solution for them, okay? A lot of the other ones you have to process and then rinse, or you have to rinse and then apply the product, process it, um, apply a mask, rinse it, blow dry. There's a lot of steps to it. Okay. Super smooth is very simple, very easy. What I've noticed too is a lot of them alter the hair color, which again is going to be from that keratin in them. Um, which is the um, animal-based protein, which is going to alter their colors and alter their blondes, okay? Um, I would pretty much guarantee to say the rest, all of the keratin smoothers that are on the market as well have fumes or they have some sort of formaldehyde gas. When it's heated, when it's activated, it releases some sort of um, formaldehyde gas that we don't want to, to breathe in. Um, Again, that is why ASP has just now come out with one because we have we have no formaldehyde in our product. We're looking for the differences of what other products have on the market. And we're about healthy, shiny hair, but also healthy body as well. We don't wanna be breathing that in. It's not good to be breathing in. And so again, we are formaldehyde free, okay? Um, and again, yeah, the fumes, the fumes are something that's always been very, very drastic with other smoothing treatments. Again, I've used them. They've stuck, they like stick in your throat. They, they, they're not great for us to be breathing in. Um, I was even talking to someone earlier. She wasn't even allowed to do smoothing treatments in her salon because of all the fumes and they didn't have ventilation. So with this not having that vapor, with this not having those fumes, it's a game changer. This is just talking a little bit more about some of those differences and what makes us um, so different against other competitors that are on the market. And um, again, better lasting color results, better color retention, low odor, reduces drying time, no discoloration on our blondes. Um, actually our blondes are, are cleaner, are shinier. They have a different reflection to them. It's beautiful. It makes the hair just feel so, so good and look so, so good. Okay. This is from Nancy. I know I know I saw Nancy's name on here earlier. Um, are you still on, Nancy? Maybe not. Okay. So this was one of her clients. Um, this is Betsy. Okay. So this was her notes. When blow drying the hair, it felt really clean. It felt really smooth. Other brands she's notices have had a really thick heaviness to it and hard to get through. And I think we can all picture some of those brands that we've used. You can't even get the paddle brush through. Like it's so heavy, so thick. And I think that's, um, I think that was your question, Amanda, earlier. Just is it, is if you leave too much on, it doesn't have that same feel like other brands do. Okay, there was no smoke, no smell while flat ironing, and um, some other brands have unpleasant smell, hurt your eyes, the whole salon is in a smoke cloud. Yep, totally relatable. Uh, the other brand I'd used normally took me four hours, this one took me two and a half. Yep, that's a huge, huge, huge time difference. Okay, time is money when we're working behind the chair. Applying super smooth treatment on towel dried hair is awesome, it's a time saver. 
yeah, it has a really nice, beautiful consistency to work with. Really, really nice and smooth on the hair. Hair color was intensified due to light reflections from the smoother hair. Yeah, that's definitely something I noticed too. The hair shines different. The hair has a different reflection to it. The hair kind of shimmers from that inside out. It just feels like natural, um, almost like jewelry. And it really is so, so different. Um, I was telling Nancy, I loved that she used it on Betsy because Betsy doesn't have that traditional coarse, thick, um, or abundance of hair, but she still deals with frizz. I think that's kind of a misconception that we normally have. We don't normally think of someone that gets a smoothing treatment is going to have that coarseness, that denseness, that, that heavy amount of hair. And that's not always the case. You know, sometimes we do have our finer clients that still have frizz. Okay. And even if they have curly hair, not all curly hair is heavy and dense. Sometimes it's very fine and very delicate. And doing the super smooth is perfect because it just smooths out that frizz. Okay. Um, this was a video. Let's see if we can get it to play here. So this is, as you guys can see, that shine and that shimmer and how hair glistens. That was a different model. Um, play it again here, but how it just shines. You can see that shine line down at the bottom. So, so beautiful. Okay. This is one of my clients actually. So this is a client that I was telling you about that doesn't blow dry her hair herself. She just has thick horse hair. She has so much hair. It's so long. It's so blonde. Um, she's one that we have done keratins on before and she just had a coarseness to it. She just had like this, um, this unruly, texture to her hair and with doing super smooth it's a game changer for her again she'll blow dry her hair at home now it takes five minutes it just shines different it feels different it looks different it just feels like normal um a hair again it just feels like almost like a virgin like hair it's it's absolutely incredible she it, it's a game changer for her okay night and day difference Okay. Just so you know, there's yeah. a few questions in the chat. Let me pop up to them. If you did color first, would you wash the color out with a detox step one, then proceed? I would just because, so question is, would you, if you do color, do you still use the detox shampoo? I would, that's where I would go in with my color care shampoo and do a nice rinse out of the color. I would um, rinse that out uh, really well. And then I'd go back through and just do one shampoo of my detox. I wouldn't necessarily focus so much that detox on my roots because that's fresh virgin hair, probably doesn't have the buildup on it like the ends do. But yeah, definitely I would go through that, those um, mids and ends with the detox shampoo for that. Good question. Um, I find using any oil is too much for some of my guests, especially with fine hair. You're going to want to use the oil. You're definitely going to want to finish with the super smooth, uh, the seal it in oil after doing the smoothing treatment. Um, I tend to focus more on the ends and I kind of just put it through my hands and kind of just like lay it down onto the hair. It's just going to seal everything in, lock it in. And then what's left on it, I kind of just smooth out the top half and kind of, if they have a fringe, I kind of, um, tip out the fringe with that of what's just left on my hand. So um, again, I don't, my clients have not complained whatsoever about feeling greasy or oily, even after the 24 hour mark of a super smooth treatment. Um, but yeah, if that's something that you have a client with a, with a lot finer of hair, then I would just steer clear of the oil directly on like their root area. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So should you be wearing gloves during the application and blow dry process? Yeah, I think it's very easy to forget that we're doing a smoothing treatment because of the no fumes, the no smell, um, but it still is a chemical service, just like with your color. Um, it definitely is recommended to use gloves, definitely recommended to, um, you know, protect yourself in that way. Um, I don't see it causing any damage. I see more harm and like bleach on your hands, but um, I don't think it's going to sting or anything, but yeah, definitely still recommend um, 
to wear gloves during the, the treatment. Okay. Is there any other questions up until this point? I know we've covered a lot of information. No, nope. perfect. So some commonly asked questions, is it suitable for all hair types? It is. This is something that can be used on fine hair, coarse hair, thick hair, um, curly hair. We've kind of said all of that up until this point. It's gonna be super, super, super effective to rejuvenate damaged hair, porous hair, chemically treated hair. So again, um, this will work just as great on anyone with chemical treated hair or with um, virgin hair that just maybe needs some frizz reduction, okay? Should you color or super smooth first? We've talked about this, but you can super smooth first, but you're gonna wanna wait three days to color. So if they're, they have you know a, a two hour service time blocked off and they see your super smooth display out and they say, oh my gosh, I have to have that today. Perfect, no problem, let's, book, let's do that today but we can't do your color. So let's book you for color in three days. Um, if you have the time and they are, are looking to get both of those done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna color them and then you're going to do your super smooth. Disclaimer, we say, um, disclaimer, we say it may remove up to one level of color. So that might be something to consider. Um, I truly haven't noticed that. I do feel like on my blonde client, it kind of refined her blonde a little bit. So I, I do feel like it shifted her blonde, maybe a smidge, but in the best way possible. It wasn't funky. It wasn't, um, it wasn't a weird undertone. It just had a, a clean liftability to it, which was really nice. So, and, and it could just have been the way it shined back at me and kind of reflected back at me, but that is an, um, a possibility, but again, super minimal. What's the difference between keratin and amino-based smoothing treatment? Again, keratin is gonna be animal derived, which is going to lead to the yellowing of the hair. The amino acid base is gonna leave the hair in better condition, okay? For those of you that remember how we talk about Vitaplex too, Vitaplex is gonna be that amino acid based. So we're definitely focusing on that, which is gonna to lead to healthier, shinier hair, uh, less free radicals to enter to the hair, which is gonna cause yellowing or any sort of damage as well. What are the main differences between Super Smooth and other competitive products? Um, we've talked about this several times, but we have one effective formula. We have one processes, processing solution, which that in and of itself, I think is a complete game changer to be able to reach for one product for a smoothing treatment is absolutely incredible. You're not having to pick and choose maybe um, which ones you wanna use or which ones you, you, you need more than others. There's no express treatment. It's just one processing solution, okay? Another huge selling point is that there's no discoloration on blondes. Um, being from Southern California, we're doing a lot of blonding work. And the fact that I am able to use a coloring, a smoothing system that doesn't have any effect on that is absolutely incredible, okay? I don't have to alter my formulas whatsoever by doing a smoothing treatment on them anymore, okay? And then again, little to no vapors. So for people that are not used to them, you don't have to worry about them burning. And you can have that conversation with your clients too, because clients that have had smoothing treatments have probably come across that um, in their course of getting a smoothing treatment at some point in time, whether it was, you know, 15 years ago when they started getting popular up until, you know, yesterday, right? There's never been something on the market that has had no fumes the way Super Smooth has no fumes, okay? If you don't do it in the same day, like if someone wants their color, but you don't have time to do the smoothing, do you have to wait the 10 days that most color, that most lines recommend, or can you basically do it like the next day? If so you if you're gonna do first. Yep, if you're gonna do color first, you can do it um, the next day. Okay. Yeah, totally. Yep. No problem. It's just, if you were going to do super smooth first, then you would wait the three days because you can't wash the hair for 48 hours. Okay. Right. So it's just not going to be as effective as, um, it's not going to be as effective because you're not letting it process and sit in that hair for that full 48 hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So yeah, if they, get, if they come in for color, you can hundred percent, you don't have time for it. Maybe, but maybe you have time the next day. You can do it the next day for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, I ha we had a question in the chat. Is this going to be recorded? Yep. So this is going to be recorded or it, it has been getting recorded as soon as it's edited. Um, Laura, it, will we be putting this up on YouTube as well? I know it's a little bit more of a specialized class. You know what? Yes, I will be putting this up on YouTube. And uh, as soon as I get it rendered and edited, yes, I will make sure to get it up. It's good information. And um, I'd like it available right away. Yeah, for YouTube, for YouTube, SP America, or it will be like as soon as it is rendered up um, and able to make that um, transition over to the YouTube page. Okay. Any questions? Lots of information. Are you guys excited about this? Yes. Yep. Do do any of you not do smoothing treatments right now? And is this something that you're going, you're looking at bringing in? Or is everybody doing a smoothing treatment already? Anybody? If anyone wants to unmute themselves and speak, we'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, hi, I'm Ariel. I work with hey. Nancy. Um, I just started at um, at her salon, and so I've used a uh, keratin complex in the past. Okay. So I'm really excited about working with this product because um, I did come in while <clears throat> Amanda was finishing up with one, and Mm -hmm. Yeah, the keratin can be very, very fumy. I mean, every time I was using it, I had to wear a mask because um, just afterwards, it, you can feel that residue kind of in your chest. And so, um, yeah, I'm really excited to, to work with this. I love doing smoothing treatments. So this will be a great product to work with. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah. You, you definitely know when someone in the salon is doing some sort of smoothing treatment, it's kind of like, you know, when, when people were doing perms, like you just knew someone was going, was doing one. You can see that cloud of smoke when someone's doing a smoothing treatment and yeah, virtually you have absolutely none with this. It's, it's pretty incredible. Um, Denise in the chat asked, how long should we wait for a bleach service after doing the smoothing treatment? So if you do any sort of um, smoothing treatment, okay, you're just going to want to wait the, four, the 48 hours. So you're going to want to wait. Um, we just recommend the three days. Now, if you're coloring first or bleaching, you can do that super smooth that same day. On my client, that's the blonde. We do a bleach weave and then a root color in between. And I, did, I do her smoothing treatment directly afterwards. And there's no, like I said, it kind of cleaned out her blonde a little bit, but not in a bad way. It didn't have any sort of negative effect. But if we're doing the super smooth first, then we're going to want to wait the three days after, even if it's color or lightning or anything like that. And we saw another question too. Price of products. Um, price of products is going to be different for every distributor. So you're going to want to reach out to your distributor or your rep who you purchase from normally, and they'll be able to provide you your costs for these as well. Okay. Yeah, another comment has a great smell. Yeah, very light, very um, not overly anything. Just kind of like a light floral scent almost but very, very light. We would love to hear your feedback. You can always email me and let me know at laura at ASPHair.com. I'm always looking for feedback and um, testimonials, good or bad. I just want to hear from you. Yeah, but I, again, I am super excited to bring this in. I think it is an absolute game changer on anybody. I think it's um, something that pretty much everybody can benefit from. You can really customize it to your clients if they're wanting fullness, if they're wanting that 100% super sleekness, it's something that is so, so um, different and their hair feels so different. It's so, so, so awesome on their hair. Um, yeah, good. Everybody's excited to try it. Awesome. Perfect. Any other questions on super smooth? <laughs> 